Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iPad Today is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Coming up, Instagram went for a billion dollars. Now, who's next? Plus, Shazam is speedy. Yes, we will do it this week. Adobe Acrobat readers ready for PDFs and a hard drive you can go with. All that and every day we're shuffling. I'm going to explain more about that later in the show on iPad Today. <laughs> iPad Today is brought to you by Slingbox, which can turn your iPad into a television. With the new iPad app from Slingbox, you can watch your home TV on your iPad anywhere you go. Check it out at slingbox.com. And by Go to My PC. Take care of last-minute requests from anywhere, right from your phone, with the Go to My PC app for iPhone. Visit gotomypc.com for your free 30-day trial. Use the offer code iPad. And by audible.com to download the free audiobook of your choice go to audiblepodcast.com slash ipad today the more episodes we do of the show the younger we look in our little opening dance sequence yeah pretty we were soon at the cottage my hair was long you were like a decade ago my hair was gray yeah now it's white. we were happy and young we were young wild and ignorant free. we had no idea that was <laughs> We were ignorant. In the days of iPad 1. It's true. So now here we are in the new iPad. It's true. A.K.A. the iPad 3, the which iPad. I'm going to call it the iPad 3. I don't know why care. you won't just say new iPad. Because it's not new anymore. Well, it's the, the old new iPad. version. The it's iPad. the iPad. Anyway, welcome the to the show. Thing. This is a show where we talk about all iPads. You know, it's funny. I was, I've been seeing people with iPad 1s, and it's fine. Right. Right? It's not like uh, they can't do... Every app... I don't, There's a few apps, GarageBand and stuff, that won't work well. But most apps work fine. And they seem happy. As far as the iPad experience, you're, it's not like you're missing the boat. You got 90%. A friend of mine just yesterday decided to get the new iPad. He had had the first-gen iPad this entire time. Just missed the whole iPad right. 2 boat. And was like, wow, what an upgrade. Okay. But he had also been fine. I mean, he right. didn't know what he was missing. Right. So it's not as if... You can't enjoy your iPad. Just I enjoy it. You've got a different generation. I just enjoy it. Period. I don't care. I just enjoy it. Yeah. I love the iPad. I love it. And it's I'm glad I got white. How are you feeling about your black? You wish? Do you still wish you'd? Nope. Haven't even thought about it. Got used to it. It bothered me for maybe five days. I've come to like the uh, the white. You know, it we'll grows trade. on you. Next year you'll get puce. I'll get mauve. It'll be fine. Mauve? <laughs> Is that what they say in Rhode Island? How do you say it? Mauve. 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 Tomato. tomato, tomato, iPod, iPad. So today we thought, uh, well, what? it was just a week ago that we were talking about Instagram coming to Android. And Holy oh, the cow. iOS people were being so snobby about it. And now that's not even the argument anymore. The argument is, was Instagram, should it have gone for $1 billion, which it did to Facebook if you've been away from the world over the last four days or so. I was wondering, because it happened Monday when you and Amber were doing the social hour. It was minutes before we and started. And I was wondering how you handled that. Did you? Did that become, like, the story? It was our big story, and, yeah. And everybody, it's a, you know, it's if it had been $950 million, it wouldn't have been as big a story. It's a billion that really somehow rings a bell. It's such a, it's a B. It's good for headlines, I guess. $950 million would have been... Still I mean, a big story. Ma math is not that hard. It's no. pretty close to a billion at that point. No, I guarantee you, though, it's 10 times more just because it's a billion with a B. A billion with a B. A billion's a lot of money. Well, a lot of people say, why is it... A billion? That's crazy. It the, is crazy. There are a lot of companies that have gone for much more than a billion. Um, YouTube. Yeah. MapQuest in 1999 went for like 1.1. All right. So, you know, it's... Skype went for several billion. Sure, yeah. Uh, I just, the thing is, and somebody tweeted this. W wait a minute. Facebook bought Instagram for a billion? Did they know it's free on the App Store? <laughs> it, it is just an app. Right. Well, And I got to say, people say, oh, the community, 30 million people who use it and how many more Android users? But how many of those are not already part of the Facebook community? A very small number. And guess what? They're the ones who are leaving Instagram because they don't like Facebook. 
Well, there's a lot of talk of people running for the hills and not using Instagram anymore. I'm just saying... The numbers don't reflect that. Facebook's not going to get a bunch of new users. They already know all these people. This is nothing new. They know more about them than Instagram does. So what did they get besides a bunch of crappy filters? uh, A community they already are a part of. Mm -hmm. They got great developers. There's no doubt about that. Kevin and Mike and the team are really good. They they were laser-focused. They wrote a great app that just somehow magically... You introduced it to me a year ago. You are totally explaining why Facebook bought Instagram. Small teams, yeah. smart people. So they bought it for the people. Talented, uh, razor focus. All of that stuff is something that Facebook should have in their development no, team. And the thing is, is, yeah, people might be using Instagram who are already Facebook users... But are they using Facebook photos with this passion and talking back and forth in the community that they are on Instagram? No. No. Facebook wants that. I mean, it's. I, I was about to say you can't put a price on it, but they did. I'm <laughs> they wondering if some of this wasn't defensive. If that they were more worried that Google Plus, for instance, uh, would acquire it. You know what's the the real failure here? I'm sure you talked about it on on Monday. Is that Yahoo and Flickr didn't do something like Instagram. Mm-hmm. They already had a photo sharing community. They already had all the photographers. Oh, yeah. They could have done Instagram. And they, when you say failure of imagination, that's where it lies was with Yahoo. I remember when I was still, uh, before I was here full time, I remember when uh, Flickr rolled out its iPhone app. And I was so excited. And I played around with it. And I was like, well, what you know, it's, it's, it's missing some features, but it's a good start. And they never updated more. it since. Never again. Yep. So, and that was. And I very years well ago. remember when you showed me Instagram mm-hmm. and I took that famous picture of uh, Ken and the, and the famous profanity that I attached because I didn't think anybody really was paying attention well you to sent Instagram. it to Twitter I so should have tweeted it that was but, <laughs> unwise uh, uh, it, but you and I both uh, looked at it and knew immediately this is a hit mm-hmm. right yeah there's just something about it that speaks to you path we feel the same way about there's some apps that you see isn't that the case I totally do and I think that people who say those filters making a picture look like it's from the 70s is totally missing the point i know and First i was, all, you don't I was even being have facetious. to add a filter no, no. secondly some of the filters actually do make the pictures look awesome and yeah it takes a person who wants to be taking a lot of pictures uh to, to you know for that to be a fun exercise for them but then also to be looking at their friends pictures talking about it back and forth and responding and replying and you know double clicking to heart a photo i mean yeah, that's not going to apply to everybody, but it's a lot more about keeping up with your friends than it is about crappy filters, which that gets too much attention. I will say, I, and I'm pretty sure Facebook way overpaid for this. Uh, I do pray, and Mark Zuckerberg said, that they will not change this app, that they won't do anything, that they'll just, you know, uh, bring the people in. I'm very happy for Kevin and Mike. That, uh, Kevin got $400 million of the billion dollars and, des- and deserves it, I guess. I mean, he's just a great guy. So I'm happy for him. Uh, and so I got nothing, you know, it's Facebook's money to spend as they choose. Uh, I hope that Instagram stays the same. So today we are going to pick apps. The next Instagram. Yeah. This is a great challenge you gave us. We're playing VC today. You gave us a challenge and this is a tough one. Who do we put money in before they go for a billion dollars? And we don't know what we're talking about. I have one that's an iPhone (laughs) app. It's just an iPhone app. Okay. That I do think, and I can give you all the reasons why, should be... A big acquisition for somebody, perhaps Google. Uh, I'm not sure who. It, it, now, it's not, an, it's not an iPad app. It's called Slice. Do you know Slice? Not really, no. I, and I'm not sure why, because we should have featured it this on This is show. one of the coolest apps. Well, it's an iPhone app. And one of the things Sarah and I have been talking about is maybe we should be doing an iPhone show. And at some point, I think we probably will. It Just works fine, as you can see on the, on the iPad. What do you do with Slice? Slice, you log into your email account. It, it doesn't work with all emails. It works with Gmail just fine, Yahoo Mail. So I gave it my Gmail accounts. It went through every one of my Gmails and found all the receipts for everything I'd ever purchased that was on Gmail. 1,478 items going back four years, 52,000 spent. It tells me what orders are currently open from Amazon, Monoprice, Logitech, iTunes. You can, you can say, I don't want to see iTunes. What ones have been shipped? It pings me when they're about to be delivered or when they have been delivered. It said, oh, the UPS guy came, he dropped off. Uh, by the way, uh, the CTS all-in-one adapter with USB tools, that came, John, just in case you're curious. It wasn't even very much. This, <laughs> sometimes they use my credit cards to buy stuff, so it goes into my account. You can take iTunes out. That can be a little bit distracting. Netflix as well. But this is amazing because, in effect, 
You could, for tax time, this will be hugely valuable. And by the way, it's not too late to do this for Sunday or yeah. for Monday. Oh, man. Because all your receipts, everything you purchased are, is in that. here. Yeah, it's oh, tax day. tax time. And, and you can go through your history of everything you've ever bought. This is an amazing app. And I'll tell you why I think it's ripe for acquisition. First of all, it's very cool. I think there's some privacy concerns. Some people don't use it because they say, what? Yeah, but I don't want all my accounts in there. If For the people who use it, and I think a lot of people use it, and well, it's just one email account you put in here, right? But for the people who use it, it is hugely valuable. Um, so I could say how much I spent this year, past six months, this month. Let's see how much of I, I spent this year. <laughs> oh, geez, Louise. Um, but that's almost everything I buy because everything I buy online gets an email sure. responding to it. Well, and imagine if, I mean, I guess we, we would call ourselves a medium-sized business here at Twit, but somebody with a small to medium-sized business, Huge. this would make so much sense, especially if you're sharing uh, credit cards. One thing that's really cool about this, and I can't show you because I don't have anything on the air, but if there's a tracking number, you tap it, it will immediately tell you all the tracking information without leaving the app. And the reason it's ripe for acquisition is because you've, in effect, by providing this service, you're giving the owner of the company a huge amount of information about your buying habits, mm -hmm. who you buy from, how much you spend. That demographic information is gold. You remember Blippi? Oh, yeah. Philip Kaplan tried to start a, a site that would do that, but you'd volunteer it? It was too it much was, work? It was social sharing for purchasing. What you and a lot of people just did not get it. I, I didn't... It didn't work because I, I people really were... use it, but it wasn't... Felt it was an invasion yeah. of privacy. I mean, it's, it's up to you. Use it if you want. Not enough people used it is the problem. So they ended up shutting it down. But Slice kind of reminds me of Blippi, but it's more for just your own knowledge it's rather than... It's hugely valuable. You're hey, not Sarah, sharing it. look what I bought. Exactly. Definitely. You're not sharing it. Um, I think this is a spectacular uh, app that I have found immensely useful. Just getting... Knowing when something's going to come... Uh, one day into delivery for this microphone that I just bought um, is is huge. You can have the receipt for the order. You could, I mean, it even goes to Amazon's return policy if you want to return now, it. Now, is the app free to download? Free. So, do they have deals with places like Amazon and to? Well, this is the that, interesting thing does, about Instagram. There was slice? no monetization in Instagram, was there? No, but you just figure eventually they'll have inline ads. At some we point. had uh, yesterday. We had the guy who founded uh, Get Satisfaction on uh, Thor Muller. Yes. And one of the things Thor said is. If you're, go if you're playing for acquisition, you want to do it before you make any money. Because as soon as you have revenue, then your value is a multiple of revenue, 5, 10, whatever it is. Uh -huh. If you have no revenue, sky's the limit. Well, and you don't have to admit that you don't make much money. You can say, well, we're not there yet. People buy Instagram not because of the revenue. No. So, uh, Slice, I don't know if they have any revenue, and I'm sure they're not sharing it. If they do, you can think of about a thousand ways they could make money. Sure. Absolutely. So, um, I think this is a... Uh, look, I like this app. I recommend it. I use it. Uh, but I think if you're talking about a candidate for acquisition, bingo. That's Slice. So, Slice.com, totally free. Mm -hmm. Definitely check it out. Especially iOS if you and it came out on Android uh, just a couple of months ago. Speaking of purchases, yeah. I wonder if my shoes came or not. See, if you had Slice... No, bought you, a pair of shoes. Log into Slice. Get Slice. It's free. Log in. Yeah. Give it your email address. And then, and then it takes a little while because it, it shoots through all your email. It will. It sends you a notification when the shoes arrive. It's the best. I actually, I actually have a slight success story. Um, I got the update that said, hey, your package has arrived in the mail. And I looked outside and it wasn't there. But I knew that it was had it arrived. They had delivered it to the wrong house exactly. just the other day. Just the other house So you down. went down again. Very so I went and helpful. grabbed it. Only because Slice notified me. I, it would have been days before I would have noticed to check my email to see, wait, where's that package? That's Chad Johnson, our producer. And by the way, I have a Slice success story. I got a <laughs> ping that my Nikon 800, D800 camera would be, on, would be shipped tomorrow. And I went, what? I didn't order that $4,000 camera. Yeah. Well, I had put it in my Amazon shopping basket along with a battery, then bought an iron. And I bought everything that was in the basket. I forgot that month, like a month or two ago, I'd put the D800 in there. And so it ordered it. Amazon will do that. If you have something in your shopping basket, it just it shipped the whole thing. And thank goodness well, Slice yeah, warned me because I was able to, it t came in, in time, I was able to cancel the order <gasps> the day before it shipped. Oh. The ba I do have the battery. <laughs> well. I don't know. I didn't cancel that in time, apparently. That's good. So I love that's Slice. very helpful. Saved me three grand. Yeah, because you obviously aren't paying enough attention okay, to so your own shopping cart. That's, that's one of mine. That's Go ahead. Yours. Let's see what you got, Shark okay, Tanker. Okay, fine. Uh, I love this app called Bump. We've oh, talked yeah, about Bump in you. the past. It's sideways. So it sideways. We, we've both now done iPhone apps. Well, be quiet because this, is, this can be an iPhone, uh, iPad, or a combination of the two. And the reason I say that is because 
anybody who's unfamiliar with this app, the idea is to bump contact information or photos, that kind of stuff, between two devices. So Leo and I can bump, I our, love bump. our iPads together. Not hard. Do you and know? not just, just contact information. I've shared pictures that way. Yes. I've shared apps that way. Except, except the folks at Bump, um, <laughs> it's funny. The they, they say, please try again because they know that I didn't bump anybody. Should I, should I turn on my bump? Uh, sure. Because I have a bump. And I could send you my contact information. I have a baby bump. Okay, well, that's different than this. <laughs> the deal with the Bump folks, they just recently introduced Bump 3.0. That's what we're looking at now. So this is my card oh, that I've filled I don't out have a, with, wait some, a minute, I get with some of my information. So what's new in 3.0? What's new in 3.0 is they've pretty much uh, stripped out uh, features that they didn't think people were using or didn't work that well, such as oh. sharing apps. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, Leo. Stupid bumpers. Well, but the thing is, is that this... Uh, they have data on what people are sharing back and, and nobody forth. ever did it, huh? Well, not enough people anyway. I have bumped apps. What I have is so I'm turning. But now I have bump on the iPhone. Will it work cross, yeah. uh, cross species? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So um, this is my uh, card that I've filled out for myself. So this is my contact information. Or I could say Leo would love this picture of this mug and this picture of my cats watching TV and this picture of some scones. I could choose to bump that now. <laughs> Or I, or I can pick, you know, who I want to share uh, with, you know, contact information that I want to share with. So the idea is, is that, and you might say, oh, okay, well, Bump sounds great, but you'd have to be connected via Bluetooth or even be on the same Wi-Fi network. And neither is true, believe it or no? not. No, what Bump does is it knows... How do it know? It knows enough about me that once my device bumps, it can feel that. Information goes up into the Bump servers and it knows that another I device. I thought I had to use Wi-Fi. Another device that's geolocated in the somewhat same area as me. That device's information goes up into the cloud, wow. and our information is synced to the point where let's if bump. That, if, all right. So I put my card, and I, it says bump now. Is that do I? That's they've changed the interface since just, I used it. Come here. Give me this. Okay, bump. I'm gonna bump. So you because just, you can't be. You know, this was right, the. Chad. This was. Do you remember? This was the like the one billionth. There. Look. Wait. One more. Oh. Oh. Don't bump alone. Well, I'm not. <laughs> maybe I'm. Maybe I'm not. Yeah. Ah, look, it's Leo working. Leo Lesquart and Sarah Lane. Yes, we want to connect. Oh, look at Let's that. Let's trade contact information. So, I mean, imagine at a party that or is at so, so sort of cool. event. So, so, so helpful, especially if you're you a know, hot chick and and I'm a lonely guy. And I put in the wrong information. No, it's it's like you did. No, no. I'm just I'm finishing your. She hot, will hot, never hot. give me her phone number. I haven't had. I've known Sarah for how long? Ten years. <laughs> And she w and she's never given me her phone number. What's nice is that now I have your information. And I know we have 11 friends in common, that's which I didn't right. know before. And that's based on our, our contact books. Oh, we have more than neat. 11 friends in common. So but did they send my entire Facebook. contact list to the bump servers? Uh, yes, they did. Yeah, but they they have when you download the information or when you download the app, they go through the fact that they don't Do they? store this stuff. Okay. Yeah, I mean it's 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 up, it's down, and then it's it's wiped out. But of course, yeah, it's up to you. So to what else can you, like you bump? I can I still can bump pictures. It's pictures, I can bump contacts. It's pictures, contact information, and that's sort of it. Except, except that now Bump, the 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 team who makes this app and it works really well, has actually a new little side project called Bump Pay. Oh, this is a whole, this, I like where you're going with mm -hmm. that. This is actually an entirely different app because they didn't want to put uh, finances in with contact information and right. photos. It's is, this is a whole different thing. The idea oh. behind Bump Pay is, let's say we finish a lovely meal, and you're like, you know what, Sarah, I'm always picking up lunch. Right. It would be pay. nice if, you know, for once. some, you know, just for once, you yeah. could pick this up. It was 40 bucks, and I don't have any money. We could both open Bump Pay, and I can, can type in money? $40 and bump you money. The reason is because it connects to our PayPal accounts. PayPal. So you yes. need PayPal to do this. You need PayPal, and it will not work without PayPal. It's the first thing that you have to do when you sign up for Bump Pay. But it is a great, very, very uh, easy to understand way of exchanging money. A lot of people have uh, PayPal accounts, but not necessarily going into the PayPal app on a regular basis or even wanting to, I don't know, type in too many, uh, um, I, I don't know, numerical values into into PayPal, the app. You can obviously visit PayPal just via Safari. And I don't think it's going to well. just stay uh, PayPal. no. I think, the, this and this is, is why this is a candidate for acquisition. Yeah, I mean Chase Bank or somebody should buy this, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. What's nice about it is like. So I'm going to send you two dollars. Well, 
I'll give you my two cents. I don't. No, no. I don't actually want your. Can I send you two cents? Just give me a bonus Christmas. Be fine. <laughs> uh, but the, but no. The thing is, I mean, look at this. It's like it looks nice. It makes sense. Here's the forty dollars I owe you. Okay. We can bump. Wow. We both say yes, PayPal. I'd rather have your I phone I actually number. tried to transfer money to myself earlier, and it said, you can't transfer money to yourself. So it's smart enough to know that. And I just, well. Ah, <laughs> I just stole $40 from her. You don't have to be so violent. <laughs> I look just stole $40 from look her. Look at this. Send to Leo at leoville.com. But see, look. Okay, Chad, I'm waiting for you. Send cancel. me that money. Oh. Cancel. <sighs> Bye-bye. No, this was, this was for... Um, this is for I thought I had you. Demo purposes. <laughs> Here's what I love about Bump, though. You can you can trade contact information. You can right. trade photos. And you can now you trade can money. You can exchange money. All the apps work nicely. They are technically iPhone apps, but as you can see, they work fine on your iPad. Hey, if you've got your iPad and you know your backpack, or you're carrying it around with you and your 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 attaché case uh, on a regular basis. These apps That's pretty are completely cool. free. That's pretty cool. And yeah, I see a financial institution eventually getting, oh, yeah. getting hip to the game and buying them. I think I think you got a winner there, Shark Thank Tank. You. We're gonna. How much are we gonna offer her? I think lots of money. That's a winner. Thank you. So we've got. I think both of these are good candidates. I now, do too. They're both iPhone apps. I got one that is both iPhone and iPad. Okay. And more than one app. Ooh. There's a company called Sincerely Inc. Okay. INC that makes an app called Sincerely Inc. Now, Apple made a big deal about its card app, um, but Sincerely Inc. is more than just cards. So this is a card app. You select a card from the shelf. You add pictures. Uh, you add photo filters. Uh, and then it actually prints a physical card and mails it. And I already have credits in here, so I can, you know, I can do that. So this is really nice. I, you know, I can take a picture off my photo stream uh, right there. And I think this is a great Easter card. It is really I nice. can add a filter. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Let's let's send that along to Sarah Lane. So oh. I can add an address from the uh, from the uh, from my contacts. Uh, it has my whole contact list in it. I can do this very simply. Uh, and now I have purchased credits. They don't do cash. You buy credits at a time. Mm-hmm. I have eighty five credits. Ten will be used. So it's about a buck fifty. Um, and this is what the card's going to look like. So that's the Sincerely Inc. And by the way, for anyone who's like, ugh, cards, who does that? Every single Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, This that saves you thing, a lot of trouble. I walk down to Walgreens and I buy a stupid exactly. card that isn't even cute or funny because I've run out of time. And this one will have pictures of you or your family and so, and so much forth. better. But that's just the beginning because they have a series of apps. So once they created the infrastructure for printing, they have other ones. This is called Pop Booth. You've seen the photo booth apps we've talked about before. This prints a photo strip. Love Pop Booth. It's so good for parties. Yeah. And it actually prints a strip and mails it. Yeah, what if, you know, you had a bunch of guests at a, uh, <laughs> this is going to be good, you had a bunch of guests at, at, a, at a party, and you actually want those guests to, like, have fun and then get their photo strips in the mail. Right. Because it's like, what are they going to do if they're just taking pictures at your party it and, has these, and never getting these anything these great filters. It. There's kind of an Andy Warhol. This is without any filters. There's a black and white filter that makes it really look like a real photo strip. Yeah, and then uh, you put, the, this is the sort of stuff people want to put on their fridge. Right. Uh, you say, okay. And uh, I can email it as, as a file, mm-hmm. uh, but I can also mail a physical thing. There's also uh, one called Postagram. Same company. Uh, that one's an iPhone app. But I got, just so you know what quality, I've got, this is a Postagram. Um, this is interesting because it's from Instagram pictures. Yes, but they, but they will pull from Facebook and Flickr, Absolutely. I think, now too. So if, it is if, Instagram only. Can you get a tight shot of this? So this was a great Instagram picture. And notice it's the square Instagram mm-hmm. aspect ratio that I took of Frederic, our office manager, and Jammer B, our studio manager. He's showing her how to sign up for, what was that, Path? Something, Path. She looks very reluctant. Yeah, she's going, she's I like, don't oh, think gosh, so. I'm busy. So um, what happens is, and then you put a message. So if you got a great picture of somebody, you do this app, put a message. It mails a postcard. It mail, puts the message here. Um, they do it all for you. And look, you could pop this out. And, and it, well, I, I won't do it now, but it pops out. And it's a so it's just standard a photo. photo. And they, they do a very nice job of printing. They also, uh, I think I you, you can get other stuff too. So I think this is an interesting company because they have a range of apps all based on the same kind of the idea being... And I think a lot of people, uh, I think a lot of people, like my mom, I think of my mom who's used to prints, Mm -hmm. takes pictures with her iPhone or her iPad and says, but there's no print. I really want to print. This solves that. Also, you're in Cinque Terre in in Italy. 
and it's the most beautiful thing in the world. And you don't want to buy the same exactly. postcard that everyone else bought and send back to Make your parents your or your sister, or your brother, that sort of thing. You could just do this right Isn't from the great? phone where you took your own picture. So you knew about Pop Booth. Yeah, we've talked about Pop Booth. So did you know about the, the fact that they have this range of apps, the Sincerely Inc., the Postagram? They have a lot of other apps. Well, you know, we've talked about Postagram, definitely Pop Booth. Uh, All right. okay. and, and, I, and I think you may have mentioned Sincerely Inc., although I have still not used it. I really, really should. But I never really thought about the fact that they were all under one brand. Yeah. They're very, I mean, talk and about a, a, a company that's doing a lot of very creative stuff. If you have credits with any one of these. Uh, that's why credits come in handy. Yeah. So I have 85 credits. I can send one of these. I could send a card. I could send a uh, you know photo strip. So I just think that I you know this one's a little bit of a longer shot because it's physical media. Mm -hmm. You know, it, there's some issues that go along with it. But I just like the idea that they've thought of this, and now that they've got it, they've got this range of apps. You know who would be smart to buy a company like Sincerely? Yahoo. Yahoo or Facebook? Well, Facebook is. Wouldn't you sort like this with your Facebook? It seems like Facebook is sort of going you, in a different direction. Wouldn't you like this with your Facebook where you could say, oh, here's my Facebook pictures and it could print them? Totally. I guess when I say Yahoo, it's because I'm thinking of Flickr. And Flickr tends to be, in my opinion, a higher caliber of photo Flickr, collections as a rule. Believe it or not, has printing options. Yeah, I know. But they're, Flickr's they're been cool. playing around with uh, some of their they're back-end cool. stuff, Here's too. another one. See this? Uh, they're going to start using Aviary instead of Picnic, for example. So, yeah, this is from uh, Sincerely as well. Yeah, so this makes a, a photo roll, basically. Yeah, and then you get the roll you mailed the to you later on, which is very retro. So I, there is no, something about this that I like. It's possible that this would only appeal to people who live kind of in the... They remember photos and they go, I want prints. But I think there's also the young people like you, the hipsters, might kind of dig this too, especially Pop Booth. Look at all those Lomo cams people keep buying. Exactly, yeah. I mean, that is as retro as it gets. And there's quite a healthy, thriving, young person community. This is one hour Lomography. photo in your iPad. That's what this is. Love it. And, right. and, and a photo booth as well. Yep. And those are heavy. And expensive, so <laughs> you look at, look at how they did around. that. They put yeah. it right in yeah. your iPad. Yeah, I like prints. So we've got we've got a few we've got a we've got a few picks here for who's the next Instagram billion dollars. You get one dollars. more. You want to take yours? You only did one. Uh, no. We're running out of time. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Just say what it was. Well, it wasn't. It was yours, and it was Art Rage. Oh, I'll save that. <laughs> save it. I'll save that. Talk You're right, because I did too, and I apologize. Okay. But I'll save that because I have something to show that goes along with it. And I just love this app. And, you know, uh, we talk so much about Paper by 53, which is beautiful. Mm -hmm. But Art Rage has been around a long time and deserves a little credit. So we'll save that. We'll talk about time. Art Rage on yeah. uh, our Saturday show, yeah. Yeah. which is a special time. For yes, we wondering. will. But right now, you know what we're going to do? We're going to watch CNN. Well, hold on a second. I mean, we already started the show late. And, you know, I got a little miffed you know, because you, sometimes I think that you're just dilly-dallying and you, now you're going to just start watching live me. television in the middle of the show. You I mean, it's a little rude. I have a hard... I feel stomped on. Oh, really? Yeah. How so? <laughs> I wish you would stomp on me. So um, <laughs> I did once, actually, remember? I wore pink Ugg boots. Pink Ugg boots. Somebody and sent me a picture of you walking on my back in Uggs. It was the screensaver's days and I loved these boots. I was so excited. <laughs> And you said, one of these days... No, I said, one of these days, these boots are going to walk all over you, So Leo. I lay on the ground. And I got on top of you. And, I, the, and I think the, the was director at the time... I, with, with my shoes on. Don't, you know... It was, it was, no, it was really it was funny. Curated. It was really funny. And the, I think the director was like, come on, you guys, stop. Oh, no, she's walking over there now. Jeez. Oh, get so your places. Take your places. Get the shot. And there is a picture, and somebody sent me, of your mm -hmm. pink Ugg boots yeah. walking on me. I thought that was funny. I don't know what happened to those things. You don't have them anymore? No. So um, uh, the reason I'm watching CNN is because I can, because I have a sling player. Now, let me tell you, the sling box is amazing. You go, you can find out more, slingbox.com slash twit. Uh, what it is, is a box that you, you, you get at Amazon, Best Buy, or, or online. And uh, you hook it up to your TV system. I mean, everything, your, your satellite dish uh, or your cable box, you hook it up to your DVD, your DVR. And then you hook it up to the internet, and that's the magic. That's where the magic happens. So, you know, we've seen a lot of things that connect your television to the internet. This connects the internet to your television, if you get what I mean. It puts your home theater system online, and wherever you go, on your computer, on, on your uh, iPhone, on your Android phone, and yes, on your iPad, which is, I think, the best way to do it. You can watch whatever's there. You can program your DVR. You can watch playback DVR. You can change channels. I got C I always put CNN on here. I don't know why, but um, this, is, this is spectacular. 
Slingbox.com slash twit. I want you to take a look at it, find out more, and uh, then visit Amazon or Best Buy and pick up a Slingbox. It is fantastic. It's really a revolution. And you don't have to pay additional fees, by the way, because it's you're, you already did. It's you, your cable, your, your satellite, your everything. Slingbox.com slash twit. This iPad's made for watching TV. We now continue with iPad Today, which is already in progress. So last week, uh, some of the people who pay a lot of attention to the beginning of the show might have noticed that we said we would talk about Shazam. <laughs> but then, because we ran out of time, as sometimes we do, and I start killing stories, uh, we Oops. did not talk about Shazam. We teased it. We did, yes. It, so was, it was a tease at it the was beginning a tease. of the show. It was a tease, really a tease. It was, it was, nothing. You got nothing. It was, it was a tease that you know makes you feel and frustrated. And, and Well, it's and, funny because you had left, uh -huh. and I walked back, and uh, Jeff said, you know, she never did the Shazam story. And I said, uh, okay. He's, so he didn't cut it out of the tease? He left it? No, he did. He okay. cut it out. We, so, did, we did a little uh, jump cut. It looked very artsy. I hope. But no, it was, it was a mistake. So what was the Shazam story? So the deal is that Shazam, if you're not familiar with the app, is a music uh, identification service. If Leo was playing a song on his iPad, okay. and let's say, you know, let's say I'm at a coffee shop and I hear a song, I'm like, God, I really like the song. I love I just Shazam. Wish I, I wish I would have known, I wish I right. knew how to, you know, it's not a right. radio I hear station, it. that kind of thing. Or radio is another good example, because you don't know. And you're not going to go to the radio website later on and find out what they'd played and in what order. Shazam comes in handy. It is not the only app that will, Soundhound. That will take in music data. Soundhound does as well. Sound tracking is another. I love sound tracking. Path will now too. I That's know, a feature I love of that. Path. Yeah. But Shazam is kind of not only the original app, but the one that, in my opinion, has always worked a little bit better than the others. So you do you use this a lot? I do use okay. this all the time because I, you know, we, I eat out a lot and, and I, I really, um, I'm an audio subscriber, so mm -hmm. I'm very interested in discovering new music, but I'm not just going to listen to any old album. But if I hear a song somewhere and I go, oh, that's uh, the group, The Handsome Furs, right. which is actually something that I ID'd recently, I can then take advantage of that, you know, in one of my music subscriptions. The other thing is, it's one sure of the, that I listen to my it's album. still free. Like some of the other ones are now pay. I think Soundhound's not free, right? Uh, I'm not sure because I don't use it. Yeah, I think they've. I think Shazam is the last one that's still free. Shazam is completely free. Yeah. Now, why don't you play something on your oh, iPad? You want to try that? Because I want to ID it so that people get a sense of how it works. Okay. And I also want to show you the reason we're talking about Shazam because it's not new. It's that it's been updated so that um, it'll it'll uh, it it basically takes in the data and kind of goes like, mm, let me scramble all this data together and figure out what song this is. But then the conversion is like a second. So they've really sped up the process where sometimes it would be up in the cloud, working, working, working for up to 30 seconds. Now it's like a second. So it's razor fast. All right, I can't all right, see. So I'm going to play a song. I'm hiding it. Okay. I've tried to pick something that you won't know. I don't know it. I'm going to pause it. Let's see. Sorry, Shazam couldn't find a match for your okay, music. Okay, I picked something way too obscure. All right. Apparently Here, so. Here, let's pick something everybody knows. All, All right. right. See if it can do that. All right. All right. This is this you should know. Yeah, if it doesn't get that one. Yeah, that's easy. That one's easy. What was I the think first the other song, one's Jump way? 5, and I don't know if... Jump 5? It might be too obscure. I, I, I don't know who okay. that is. I, I, so it's possible that it's not in Shazam's database, because it was loud enough so that it would have picked it well, up. Well, that was the other thing that was worrying. So it is hearing it, right? Oh, yeah. It yeah, was okay. her, hearing it. So you guys saw that. You, you see that it... It's, it's kind it of amazing. It still takes the same amount of time to say, i got to listen to the song for, you know... I'd be curious if it here. knows this. But then the matching process is razor fast. Now, once you get the information, it's not just like, oh, it's by a group called Green Day. Okay, you've got... You can buy it. Yeah, you've, you, can, you can buy it. You can download it on iTunes. Um, you can look at YouTube videos that are associated with the song. Can you, you play it in Spotify? Can you... Uh... You can't 
Play from Spotify directly or from RDO. Shazam. So no. that would be nice because I don't want to buy it because I have RDO or Spotify or something like Shazam that. Shazam probably has some sort of a deal. Yeah, they so want, that that's how they make money. They're not kicking over to a subscription right. service because right. they want you to buy the specific Here, track. try this one. There's no way you're going to get this. Right, one. I'm right. just curious. One more. Okay, we'll do okay, one more. Okay. This, is, this, is a, this, is, this is a very obscure song. That is obscure. Oh, but it's Autobahn by Kraftwerk. Oh my God! Okay, you win. See? If you can name that song, that's See, this good. This is fun. That's this a really like... that's twenty five years old it's... and fairly obscure. And there was and no. And it hadn't even started. Yet. And there was really no singing in it. So that was that's a good test. Yeah, that's so a really is, good test. This is Shazam. Yeah. Like I wow. said, it 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 works the way uh, similar apps work. So I don't want to make it seem like this is the only way that you can ID music, but it's the fastest that's way. Impressive. And again, look at the, this is an iPad app. This is no iPhone app here. It's beautiful. Works in portrait or. Or, um, you know, it's or funny. landscape mode. And you can see the stuff that I've been looking for recently, too. So if I'm, like, four songs deep, it remembers that I looked up, you know, Handsome Furs a few oh, songs that's nice. ago. So you can see yeah. all the history. So you get a history. Yeah. If people at home have been listening and doing it and, uh, and saying whether SoundCloud could do it or not, it's oh, kind yeah? of interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but they got, SoundCloud got a cover band. Or SoundHound. SoundHound, I, I mean. The, yeah. the one problem with sometimes with these is that you, and Spotify noticed this, too. If they don't have the original, they'll give you a cover band. That's not. And that's not what I want. No. Yeah. That's or or a MIDI version, maybe. That's also. Yo, not I what get you that want. too, or the karaoke version. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I don't even really want the live version. No, I it's want. It's like I want that song I heard. The one I'm listening to. The exact song yep. that I heard. Yep, yep, yep. Live is, well, it's, you know, a bit of a crapshoot. Hey, you know what else is new? What else? Adobe Reader for yeah, an that, iPad. It's funny because we've had. PDF readers. In I mean, fact, iBooks reads PDFs. It is a very, very common uh, request from our audience. PDF. People love PDF programs. But we've got Goodreader. We've got iAnnotate. We've. I mean, I can PDF go, Pen. There's notability. a ton of PDF Pen Pro. That's right. Yeah. So, uh, but I guess people want the name. There's something about Adobe Reader that a yeah. lot of you say, yeah, I mean, if I just have Adobe Reader and it's free, right. I don't really need any of these other PDF programs. And some of the PDF programs that we've shown off, nice as they are, it's almost like they do more than I think a yeah. lot of people need. What, P what, what Reader does is it's exactly what you think. I mean, you can annotate, you can sign, you can underline, you can highlight. That's pretty much it. Um, again, it's free. Looks really nice. Um, I'll go ahead and they've got a nice little get started uh, document that I, we don't need to look through. But if I want to just pull up, this is something that I pulled in earlier. Um, and, you know, keep in mind that it's like you don't open PDFs from here. You send PDFs to Adobe Reader yeah. as you would, you know, PDFs anywhere else. But this is a, a document that um, we used during the Oscar ballots uh, because I wanted to basically <laughs> just like write up stuff on my iPad. And you're just going to hold that forever to show how bad MG did. Well, I beat him. So, yes, yeah. this That's will not go of, away. This yeah. stays in the collection. Yeah. But let's say I want to, uh, you know, I want to screw around with this a little bit. This is obviously has been marked up a little bit. But let's say it came to me this way. You know, you just add, you, you click on the little pencil. Now I've got, uh, I can go ahead and add a note. I can go ahead and drag over certain text to highlight. There you go. The descendants now highlighted. I can uh, strike out certain texts. That's pretty it's good. Extremely loud and incredibly close. Did okay. not win. Okay. I can go ahead and underline text. War horse underlined. And so on. So this is really, really, really simple. Um, what I can also do, of course, is sign something. I can send to well, a variety is, of other places. Mm, yeah. Send for signature if mm, I need okay. Leo to fi finally sign this mm, at the end. So, I mean... Okay. Though this is pretty good. I was going to say I just use iBooks, but iBooks is read-only. I mean, it's just for reading this PDFs. This is for markup. Because often what I'll do scribbling. is I'll email or download PDFs for manuals for stuff that, I, you know, uh, appliances and things, because I don't want to keep those around. And so, you know, like my coffee maker, I've got it in iBooks as a PDF, which I really like, but you can't annotate it. You can't do it. It's read only. Yeah. So if for I, manuals, this is fine. But if you want to sign a real estate document or something, that's a much better choice. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and by the way, you don't have to kind of scribble your signature. They have a nice little signature option here. They have a library for uh, storing it. That's what PDF Pen Pro does, which is nice. Why isn't it? I would compare that. Is this free? Um, yeah, it's totally free. Wow. That's your signature? Yeah, sort of. Okay. I mean, on the iPad. But no, you don't see it did a nice job. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like this, This it, it almost like, it, it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it smoothed it out a little bit. So there you go. That's my beautiful signature. Oh. And it bolded it. And it made it look really nice. Anyway, completely free. 
if any of the PDF programs we've talked about in the past are a little too much for you, or you want something that's free, or maybe you're new to the show and you'd like a PDF program, and this seems like it'll uh, be the for ticket. For free, it's the first one I'd start with, to be honest with Why you. Why not? Everything else is paid. Well, yeah, and it, they do more, but you might not need more. Right. And in fact, you might a get a little overwhelmed with more. Right. Some of, our, some of the PDF apps are... There. Well, good reader will take for more sources. You could just drop box. Yeah, like that. good reader is much more of a utility than yeah. just sort of a PDF. And PDF pen up, you know, we love them. But but I have to say that that's pretty good. They're guys going to get some competition for free. Absolutely, it works really well. And if you like the Adobe brand, it just makes sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, finally, before we move on. Um, we have what I like to call an iOS game fail. Uh, this came from Jerry, and he sent in a screenshot of something that is very, very unfair. Jerry? What happened? Sorry, iPad is not an acceptable <laughs> word. It isn't. It's not in the Scrabble in dictionary. Words Sorry. With friends Sorry. played on an iPad. Sorry. How is that? It's not in the. You got to use the Scrabble they word list. You shouldn't be able to get away with that. <laughs> You're playing Words with Friends, an app on your iPad. It All wouldn't right. be possible without it. All right. Okay. What? You can't get behind this? No. No, I can't get behind it. Jerry, I'm with you. You got to follow. It's a proper name. It's not a fo- it's not appropriate in Scrabble. Don't you think? And if I play words with friends of you and you try to get away with that, I would say challenge. Challenge. By the way, can I, I just tried. say do not install something? Yes. This is an iPhone app, which I fell for because Alexia Totes has fell for it. How did you fall for that, by the way? I saw that in my Facebook feed, and I was so like, stupid. delete. So stupid. Because Alexia, she works at TechCrunch. She tries all the new things. I thought, this sounds really good. It's called S-Y-N. Do not, do not, do not do this. The idea is great, which is it synchronizes your contact list with your Facebook so that it puts Facebook pictures in, phone numbers in. Android does this automatically, but I never had anything on the iPad that did yeah. that. And I thought, hey, it'd be nice to have an updated uh, contact list from Facebook, right? Well, here's the problem. It spams everybody in your contact list. You probably got a message from me. Uh, everybody I know on Facebook got a message from me saying, Leo, and you name and Well, the reason I didn't is because as soon as I got one from her, I blocked the app. Yeah, smart. Block yeah, the app. Block it. S Y N. Do not. It's a buck, which really annoyed me. Do not buy it. Oh gosh. And Leo. it's uh, it's a spammer. And you know, if I had only read the reviews, all of which say Spam. exactly this. Yeah. Look at this. Twenty-seven one stars. This is a really good example of why Facebook or uh, iTunes reviews are helpful. Read the reviews. I, I mean, you would never have downloaded. And don't it trust Alexia Totsis. <laughs> That's my two advices to well, you. Well, it sounds like or she, Leo Laporte. She got scammed too. Poor Alexia. Probably before she could. Realize Somebody did what the same thing, on. and and I. It's kind of embarrassing, but I wanted to highlight it, even though it's embarrassing me, because this is an example. Yeah, read the reviews, mm-hmm. and it did not warn me. It did not say I'm going to send a message. Is that okay? It just sent a message to. Everyone. Everybody, and that's ridiculous. That's not good. Yeah, anytime an app good. ends up on my Facebook wall without me explicitly saying, please that's add this really to my profile, wild. they're done. And what I really want to know is how did it get into the App Store? Why did Apple approve this? Did they not know? And, you know, there are four five star ratings, all obviously from the developer. Um, how do you obviously. get an app with 27 one star fails? Because and the four first four were from the developers. Exactly. Friends. This is all, it's like, um, it's, it's, it's iTunes psychology. Ugh. It can be fascinating, too. You read some of the reviews, and it's like, oh, you guys, you're so transparent. But people fall for it, so it's good to know. Uh, that's a good PSA. Love the idea. And, I, and I, a number of people on Twitter told me about other apps that will do something similar, so I'm going to look at those. N- not spam your friends, but, but sync your uh, Facebook. Um, but don't do that one. S-Y-N from Falkor, F-A-L-K-O-R. It is a do not buy. Do not buy. You heard it here. Can I tell you something you should buy? Yes. Go to my PC. Oh, yeah. Actually, you don't have to buy it. It's free. Just for a month. Yeah, you know those, those, all those publishers who are allegedly colluding to, uh, to, keep, uh, to keep e-book prices raised? Yeah. And they all got together at an Italian restaurant and were obviously seen there. Should have used <laughs> something. Oh, they could just go to a meeting. You're right. You're right. So go to my PC is uh, remote access done right from the folks at Citrix. Of course, they know what they're doing. A couple of things you're going to like about this. 128-bit SSL means it's always secure. You can even use it as a VPN. You can go to a coffee shop and use go to my PC to surf back to your office computer securely. But it works on a Mac or PC. But here's the reason we want to talk about it. It works on an iPad and an iPhone. 
go to mypc.com, click the orange Try It Free button. It's on every page. And uh, use the offer code iPad. You can try it free for 30 days. The iPad app is always free. The iPhone app is always free. There's something about having in your pocket the ability. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. Excuse me. <laughs> you know why? Why? It's, you know, I thought this was coffee, but it's hot and sour soup. Oh, so, that's um, different. Mmm. To give me the hiccups. So go to mypc.com, click the try it free button, offer code iPad. The idea of having in your pocket or in your, you know, purse, your iPad or your iPhone and 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 being able to use your Windows machine or your Mac at your office to run any program, send and receive email, anything like you were there is kind of like very modern sci-fi. Try it free right now. Go to mypc.com and we thank Citrix for supporting iPad today. We sure do. I uh, want to remind everybody that if you ever miss any of the links that we've mentioned, because we talk about so many we apps. We go fast. We try. Yeah. yeah we, try to, we try to cram as much into the show as possible, but you might not be following along as closely as you want. Don't worry about it. Just go to twit.tv slash IPT to go back and keep up with all of the content in all of our episodes. All of our archives are right there. 92 episodes. 92. In fact, we're on episode 93 now. We, we're on the March to 100, and I hope we have a really big party. A program note for those of you who watch live this won't affect anybody who downloads it but we're going to do the next ipad today this saturday in a few days that's true because uh, i'm going to do uh, the nab show mm -hmm. and then i'm going to be in idaho and you're going to be in idaho yeah we're just next week is going to be really weird so Crazy we decided week. to just shoot it a few days ahead of time so that it doesn't affect anybody who downloads the show you'll get it on thursday as same usual. same as always but if you want to participate live we love it when you do watch live we certainly uh, do. it'll be right after the weekly daily gives was this coming saturday probably around 4 p.m pacific 7 p.m eastern time uh that would be 2300 utc exactly of course, usually we record the show at 1.30 p.m. Pacific, 4.30 p.m. Eastern on Thursdays here at Twit on the living room set. 2030 UTC. 2030 UTC. What about GMC? GMT? GMT. We've deprecated GMT for UTC. I see. Yeah. No. <laughs> That was, that was unintentional. It was good, though. It was good, yeah. It was good, good stuff. Uh, if you have app ideas, questions, comments, anything, you can always shoot us an email at iPadToday at twit.tv, like Martin Birch did. He says, yeah. hi, Sarah and Leo. If you haven't heard about it, you ought to feature an app. It's a personal coaching tool for personal productivity. As a counselor, I'm always looking for these kinds of tools, and this one is particularly robust while maintaining an elegant, even, cool surface. It's called Interface, rather. It's called Unstuck. Hmm, so I don't know that. I had not either. I went ahead and downloaded Unstuck before the show started, and I am really impressed. And here's the reason. It gets you unstuck. Well, it does. So What are you, like, stuck in what? Like your writer's block? Yeah, it, it could be. It could mm -hmm. be anything where it, it's a little bit more of like a, it's less of like a task base. Like, I have to get groceries. Need mm -hmm. to remember to do that. And more of like a... You might say, you know, I really want to go to the gym more. And I yes, talk about it all the time, but there's something keeping me from doing How it. I can't that? change my behavior. Well, because we all have that problem, right? One of my problems right now is like, me. I need to buy like stereo speakers for my home entertainment system. And it's like, I'm overwhelmed with my choices. Yeah. And the more I don't do it, the more I talk about it. And it's just driving me kind of crazy. I can help you with that. Can you? I can get you unstuck. What I had done... <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah, I pretty much just have to go to Amazon and pick some speakers. <laughs> I'll tell you what to get. And be, good. Yeah. I, I would like that. But mm -hmm. don't say Bowers and Wilkins because they're like 15 grand. Your friends have the best speakers that I've always well, wanted. And I see this Pandora, on your... So. Oh, that's why. That's why. They have a very nice house. Yes. I get to see the inside through Sarah's yes. <laughs> Facebook pictures. Yeah. I get, I get invited over for Super Bowls and stuff like it's that. It's really they nice. Like, they have their center channel alone, speaker alone, is $5,000. You yeah, know that, right? Oh, okay. I, they're audio file yeah. people. But I know, yes, I'll tell you something imagine. that's very, much less expensive, but very nice. Oh, good. It's a Danish company. Great. Yep. I'm thrilled. Mm -hmm. So, what I had done was I had gone through Unstuck and, and, and it asked me a bunch of questions like, what are the three things you feel when you need to rearrange your living room and you can't do it? And it's like, oh. I feel overwhelmed. I feel like... I Life is good. I haven't You're done... You're sailing along. Sorry. 
What is that? That's the unstuck guy. Oh, you're looking you, at that. Turn off the sound, but you can watch the movie while she's talking. See, yeah. he's getting unstuck. Right. You you already saw this because it's when you first install it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is, you know, they have little tutorials. This is very, very common for apps. But the idea is that you give it a bunch of information about what's keeping you from stuff. You know, yeah. are you doubting your abilities? Yeah. You know, do you do you feel like you, you, know, you have a bad work-life balance, but you don't know how to ask your boss for time off? That sort of right. thing. It's almost like going to a therapy session. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, well, it seems like that's what this is. Yeah, yeah. It, it is. And I mean, it, obviously, nothing can take the place of, you know, actual individual talk therapy. But I had gone through and I asked uh, it. Wow, you said that like a pro. It asked me a bunch of questions. What? <laughs> talk therapy? Yeah. We've both been to therapy. <laughs> I know what some of the jargon is. We're actually like. in couples counseling. Yeah, yeah, it's not going well. <laughs> so we need something like Unstuck. <laughs> unstuck told me after I had answered a bunch of questions and let it know how I was feeling about my remodeling catastrophe. Is that really what's stopping you? Is your remodeling? Well, it's is that a, your big one? It's, What's your big one? It's it's it's. In a, I mean, I have so many. Yeah. we all have things we that do. we want to do, and we're we not do. doing them. No, you're this right. This was one of my. I think going to the gym was a good example. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. was one of my things. Like, I don't want to have people over until my living room looks right. a little nicer, not but I'm ready not doing yet. anything. Right. So what I am is a waffler. An unstuck told me these oh. these are sort of the things. There's that, different kinds of. It. Yeah, and these are also uh, like famous people who also have waffling problems, which makes me feel less alone. Like Ellen DeGeneres. Is that John C. Dvorak? No, it's. A poet okay. Wallace Stevens. Oh, okay. Now, here are Take some things I can do to make sure I that I, this. you know, I get going in the right direction. Yeah. By the way, for this particular project, I had said this is not just a personal thing; it involves me and MG because we live together. Right. So it's like I feel like he isn't really helping me in the decision making so process. He's so the I problem. keep saying, "Do you like these speakers? Do you like these speakers? Should I yeah. get them? Should I get them?" Yeah. He goes, "Ah." So that's kind of bothering me too. Anyway, uh, you get the idea of this app. By the way, it's completely free. Martin, thank you so much for the recommendation. I think some people will find this a little bit touchy-feely. But if you're the kind of person who has a lot of goals and you need some structure, uh, kind of like mental structure around attaining them and changing behavior, I really think it's worth taking a look at, playing around a little bit. And uh, Martin, as a counselor, uh, that's you know obviously very high praise from him. Oh, so he's actually he does this. Yeah, he said he he discovered this and he finds it to be a really good tool. So I, 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 I am that. downloading it. I, and actually, you sign up for an account, although you don't have to. Yeah. Uh, but I'm doing all of that because I think this will be very handy. It actually. also looks nice too. If it's you, really neatly if done. You like, yeah. If you like a well-designed advice, I this is you know when the iPad came out, this was kind of the promise of it. It wouldn't just be more office productivity apps that we would use this touch interface, this intimate kind mm -hmm. of relationship with this it was device to do stuff like this. I think it's great. I'm I always like to see something creative like that. Absolutely. Yeah. Got another email from Emil from Sweden. He says, "Hi, Sarah and Leo." I use a magic trackpad, I use an iPhone and an iPad all day, and because of that, I'm touching glass all day, and now mm -hmm. my fingertips are really sensitive. <laughs> really? And it's beginning to hurt when I use these can devices. I, can I suggest you don't tap with such force? Any suggestion to prevent this? Gentle tapping. Yeah, I guess the first advice is be be gentle. He you must be like slamming that thing. Yeah, I, I'm not... <laughs> I don't have this problem. Me neither. But I would suggest a stylus. You can use a stylus. If that's, yeah. I mean, if you feel like I can't get away from these devices and my finger is suffering, right? Stylus would be the right way to go, I think. Um, in fact, there is a really, really, really good write-up uh, The Verge put together. Um, it right after um, uh, the app came out that we looked at last week, paper which everybody oh, was talking paper. about, or two weeks ago maybe They did a whole video on the best uh, styluses. Yeah, yeah. They, it's, it's a very, very thorough roundup. Um, this is a video review, but they also wrote up everything and why you know some of the uh, style, styli are better than others. Um, you get the idea. Really nice video, but Chad, if you just scroll down more, um, you get like a very thorough... This That's is, the you one know, I would get. The whack That's yeah. actually what got their highest marks. Yeah, Pogo's the original. I like it a lot. Uh-huh. Yeah. And they're all different. You know, th there are they certain... Are. This there is are too certain thick. I, don't, I have that one as well. Uh, sure. Uh, you you have a the, lot of yeah. different price points, mm -hmm. uh, you know, different uh, form factors. The way that it looks is going to be interesting to some people. So this is actually a very, very, very good article, especially if, if you're in the market to buy a stylus, which I am. And I want to make sure that I buy one that is going to be worth it to me. And, you know, Steve Jobs nice would be kind of touch. mad, though, because one of the things he, you he know, made a big this. point about uh, is that the iPad didn't need a stylus. 
But it does. And so, sometimes it does. Like, draw something. You really could help to have a stylus. Absolutely. And, yeah. and also, Steve, you, you can't possibly imagine what creative minds are going to come up with app-wise when you build an ecosystem that That's allows right. apps, you know? That's right. You have some and sense have of what's possible. Yeah. But, you know, in the last three years, a lot of things have come out that just exactly. didn't exist before exactly. when, they, when they imagined the, you know, the iPad. So... Uh, definitely, we'll have th that uh, that article from The Verge in our show notes. It is uh, indispensable if you're in the market for a stylus. And if you or anyone you know have a stylus that works really well, that you absolutely recommend, or one that you don't... I have one that I was going to show with why, Art Rage. The Art Rage guy gave me we'll something. We'll bring it on Saturday. Next, Saturday, next show. We'll absolutely do this. Because uh, it's, it's kind of cool. Totally. Yeah. Jenny uh, sent us a voicemail. She has a helpful tip for people who use a Bluetooth keyboard. Hi, Leo and Sarah. This is Ginny Brady from Plattsburgh, New York. I have a tip that may be helpful to your listeners. I was trying to figure out how to use my Bluetooth keyboard with voice dictation on my new iPad. I discovered that the online keyboard can be activated from a Bluetooth keyboard by hitting the eject key on the Bluetooth keyboard. This gives you easy access to the microphone on the on-screen keyboard of the new iPad. Hope this is helpful. I Who enjoy knew? your show and listen every week. By hey. the way, Jenny has the most soothing voice ever. I, it was very peaceful. She should be like lullabying us to sleep. Yeah. I don't know if you're reading or if you're just really, she was really just very even, sweet, Stephen. Very nice person. Thank you, Jenny. That is such a good tip. Never heard of this before. It makes sense because the eject button doesn't make any sense on an iPad. There's nothing to eject, so overload it. Do something extra with it. In this case, it slides up the keyboard. Yeah. What a good idea. Neat, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I so love if, that if you're using a Bluetooth keyboard regularly, but you also want to take advantage of voice dictation, it's a good way to go back and forth. Reminder that we love hearing from you guys. We Write do. us, iPad today at twit.tv. We read all of the emails. We try to get to as many of them as possible, but please keep them coming because we love you guys. You can also leave us a voicemail like Jenny did, 757-504-IPAD is our Google voice number. Or you can always send us a video. We actually have a video uh, for our next show uh, that's very exciting. It involves rap music mm. and a app that I showed off in the past that you made fun of me for. <laughs> Was that's I right? I'm gonna say. Did they sell for a billion dollars? No, not okay. yet. Right. You know what Jenny's number is, by the way? She gave it to us on that, 867-5309. Oh, that's so funny. Do you know that there are people so young watching the show that they don't They have no idea what I just talked about. <laughs> 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 Do you know that that number in every area code is... Some poor person has that number and they regret it. Yeah, uh, or they <clears throat> they have to change their number. They have to change It's just number. not funny if that's your number. <laughs> so, uh, hey, guess what? Hey, what? Audible.com yeah. is fantastic. Have I told you that lately? Uh, look at this. Is uh, You know, it's nice because now it is an iPhone app, but you can do it on the uh, iPad as well. Yep. Audible, what is it? It is the best bookstore in the world. All audio books, 100,000 plus titles. Everything new comes out on audible.com. All the best sellers. I just love it. And here is a really great reason to use an Audible on an iPad or an iPhone. The Audible app, which is absolutely free. Look at this. This is my entire Audible library going back to when I started being an Audible user. I'm going to have to scroll quite away because I have 500 books in here going back to the year 2000. Whoops. <laughs> I think I went too far. Uh, too bad because it did actually get... There it is. It's the first book I ever got. And uh, what's great about Audible is that it, uh, it is their performances. They sound wonderful. I just got the new George Martin uh, Dance with Dragons. I'm listening to the name of the one. You can see I like sci-fi sci and fantasy. The Stand by Stephen King. Um, there are, I'm actually right now I'm listening to Ann Patchett's State of Wonder, which is a great novel. Um, Stephen King, uh, sci-fi, uh, nonfiction. There's a Steve Jobs uh, biography. When you Neil Stevenson's books, fantastic. Here's a great one. If you're if you're a fan of Neil Gaiman, this is a kind of a dramatization. So sometimes they do this 
with Audible where uh, they'll have a book instead of having one man read it and do, or woman read it and do all the voices, which, by the way, these people are really good. So yeah. they really bring to life the dramatizations. They use different voices in American Gods. Every character speaks and it's really fun. It's like listening to a play or a movie because it. You know, it really takes place in your head. And I'm just, I'm such a huge fan of Audible. I want you to try it. I got a book free for you, okay? Uh, one credit towards uh, any book that you want. Uh, some of the books are more than one credit. The, the Game of Thrones, for instance. But most books are a single credit. If you go to audiblepodcast.com slash iPad today, you'll sign up. That's actually going to sign you up for the gold account, which is a book a month. But the first book is free. The first month is free. You can cancel any time. book is yours to keep forever. And... Uh, it's, I think, just a really great way to see if this is right for you. There's uh, Hunger Games, which is... Uh, I haven't seen it in the theater because I'm waiting. I want to listen to the Hunger Games on Audible before I uh, go see the movie. I mm-hmm. like to read the book first. There's a good article. Was it in The Atlantic? Where was it? About Audible and whether listening to a book is reading a book. And, of course, the author said, yes, it's the same. Except that it's somehow... It, it comes to life in your head. I just, I'm a big fan. Uh, if you've not tried Audible, please do. Audible on me, audiblepodcast.com slash iPad today. The name of the wind is the book that uh, Trey Ratcliffe said. He uses this to judge people. He said, if if you don't love this book, then I don't want to be your friend. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. So now that's I'm on my afraid. list. This is a long one. I know. I'm a little afraid. I'm afraid that I won't he's be gonna able be, to be uh, He's going to be up here uh, on Sunday. He's in Monterey right now speaking at the EG conference. So, by the way, this way the audio, uh, this, the software works is it's it sees audio books that you sync. Because, uh, as you know, Audible works fine on, on iDevices. You don't need their special software. But it also, uh, you can down... The reason I like the software is because if I forget to download something, I can quickly uh, get it. And also, they have uh, stats. Now, I just installed this. I usually listen on my iPhone. But they, they give you badges and stats for how you've been doing. Uh, they're gamifying, uh, they're gamifying audiobooks. I earned a gold badge. And, you know, I'm a sucker for this stuff. I the, want the gold badge. The gold badge is for uh, the size of my stack. <laughs> and, and I don't know if you've noticed, but it's giant. Yeah, um, I have. The, uh, there's lots of, uh, you know, newsletters and information in here. And then, of course, the books. Audiblepodcast.com slash iPad today. Please try it. You, you, if really. you're a commuter... <sighs> Or you're just the gym. Too busy. You said you want to go to the gym. Uh, I go to the gym almost every morning. You do I, work out all the time. I know that. I, I do because yeah. well, you're a treacherous little ball of steel. Well, it's just it helps me sleep. I have to work out or you're, else I can't sleep. No, you know what? Do not be self-effacing. You're a very healthful person. You take good <laughs> care of yourself. I and eat for a like woman of your age, you look fantastic. Thank you. I'm and, a woman of a certain age. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> You know what I did this morning? I'm very proud of myself. What? 6 a.m. I got up and took a Pilates class at 6 a.m. See, that, I wouldn't even do that. Well, That's I don't crazy. think I'll ever do it again. But yeah. uh, No, there's something about working out in the morning, but I need, I need stuff. You know, it's like sometimes I want music, sometimes I want an audio book. It. But I want to be, I want to kind of half Absolutely. forget what I'm doing. Yes. I want to get lost in, in exactly. a story of some kind. You will, so you will find that half that. hour on the treadmill goes by like that. In exactly. fact, you'll spend another half hour just because you want to hear what happens next. Yeah, you got to finish the chapter. Yep. All right, speaking of finishing, we're almost finished with the show, but we wanted to save the best for last, and that's the AppCap Award. AppCap, put on your hats, everybody. I want to give Liz Romero a big thank you. Wow, is that cute? For giving me this hat. How Audrey Hepburn is that? Thank you. She said... It's, a, is that a, it's not a pillbox. What would you call that? I don't know. It's almost like a... It's cute. I mean, it's... it's, it's isn't that cute on her? Is that not what, a good hat for her? What kind of hat this is? I think it's, it's a good little, style for you. It's got a little, little thing. And you're wearing it matches your clothes because you got a black it matches my uh, fuel band. And you've got a black Have fuel I hit band my goal yet hat. today? No, but I'm close. Twenty two forty. What's your goal? It's three thousand. Oh, you're very close. I always yeah. hit it. I should go up to four. Anyway, so. this is the part of the show where we wear crazy hats. These aren't really that crazy today. No, You've got I the think pin we hat. look quite serious. And um, yeah, it's this is a scholarly edition yes. of AppCap Awards. I'm wearing a red fedora. Yeah, <laughs> you know, actually, That's I not bought really a this. It's a uh, pimp hat. It's a, no, it's not a pimp hat. I, okay, I got a shark skin suit, and I wanted a black fedora so I'd look like a mafioso. I, this is supposed to be a Tony Soprano hat, and the company sent me a red one. Yeah, it's a pimp hat. It's now nice. it's a pimp hat, but if it were black, it would be a Tony Soprano Get hat. yourself a red cane, and you can pretty much... Well, you already kind of do what you want, but now you will in style. It is kind of... 
It's a little, it's a little bright. It's been pat. Anyway. But, you know, you, you like Snoop Dogg, so it all, it, it all comes Snoop, around. This is a Snoop hat. So this is my app cap. We'll start with me. It's called Shuffler. You might have noticed that I was saying every day was Shuffling. Shuffling. Shuffler. Oh, it's an this ad. Is, this is their... Uh, it's an ad for Shuffler. This is their... We are, oh, is it a video watching on the web application? Yes, it is. The idea with Shuffler is not new. Um, it is... Uh, video discovery based on what your friends are watching and what is trending overall online. Now, you might say, like, okay, well, mm, don't a lot of other apps do that? A lot of apps do stuff that's similar to this. Okay, we can finally go back to my app. Sorry about that. I am now uh, logged in uh, via Facebook. What I'm looking at now is something called the Daily Fix. And this is Shuffler basically saying, based on what other people are watching all over online, um, and based on who you're connected to on Facebook and Twitter, if you decide to connect via Twitter as well. Uh, Mark Anthony files for divorce. Well, that's certainly old. Well, <gasps> Wait a maybe, minute. maybe they weren't already filed for No, divorce. I think they hadn't yet. So this kind of um, confirms what the tabloids Ann, were saying. Yeah, this is some Ann Romney story that yeah. was, I saw. He was gym. married to Ellen DeGeneres, right? Ann Romney? Ann Romney? Never mind. Mitt, Mitt Romney. And, and I was talking about Mark Romney. Anthony. Yeah. Oh, yes, right. Yes. He and Ellen. It didn't work out. Didn't work out. Didn't work out. Didn't so work they, out. These are a variety of videos that are being suggested to me. Now, of course, I could say they, now I'd like to I, I'd like to like this video. It's trying to do a good job though, right? It's not just random. It's it's using your friends' yes. preferences. Plus what is trending and I can, you know, look in a global scenario as well versus local. Okay. So local could be people who are closer How? to me. And is like, it all YouTube or is it from other sources? Or? Um, no, it's from a variety of sources. Okay. Because uh, YouTube kind of does that. I mean, YouTube will show you what's trending, what's hot, what your friends are liking. That's that true. Now, if I decide, okay, well, I'd, I'd rather have a little bit more control over what uh, I'm watching. So instead of the daily fix, I want to see exactly what my friends are watching socially. I see. I'd like to be entertained. You know, I just want yeah. to watch some, you know, bubblegum stuff. Um, I want to know what's kind of getting a lot of buzz online. Celebrity channels, if you're into those. Or they have their own video channels that are, you know, genres. Uh, nature and Wildlife, this... Auto and Vehicles, oh, wow. General, Short Films, And I presume it's, it, it's airplay aware, so I could... Uh... Use this as a. I, see, I like the idea of using this, yeah, as a controller, mm -hmm. and then putting it on my TV. So it's like a fancy remote finding the uh, videos for me. Now I'm not sure. I don't see because AirPlay. I think they use their own player. See, that's not good. That, that might not be available yet, mm, okay. and I hadn't thought about that until just now. I like AirPlay. I really like the ability to put those up on. Uh, yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh shoot! I just shared it to my Facebook wall. Oh well. Well, I hope it was good. Me too. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but but this is this is sort of a. I like to call these apps, and again, I like discovery apps. I, yeah, it's it's not the only. Um, it's not the only app that does stuff like this. No, in fact, like, I've shown some before, as you have. Exactly. And, yeah. The idea is there's too much video online to ever make sense help of it, and apps something. like this will help you right. watch the kind of stuff that's worth your time. This is a very nice. Uh, it's a nice layout. The design works well. It has good social sharing and pulling in of information, and it's totally free, so I like it. Go full screen, because they sing in the chat room. Maybe if you go full screen, you'll see the AirPlay. Uh, sometimes you have to do that to get the AirPlay icon. No. No? No, it's not, us it's not using the regular it's very YouTube disappointing. window. It's, it's using very something. Disappointing. It's almost like a proprietary thing. Oh, okay. But thanks, guys. Nice try. Yeah. Yeah. I did my best. So what do you think this is? Uh, it looks like a hard drive. Yeah. It is, in fact, a USB hard drive. I can. Uh, it has a special adapter uh, on it um, to make it USB. Uh, it's uh, from uh, Seagate. They call it the GoFlex, but there's something unique in this. This is the GoFlex satellite. Uh, I'm going to disconnect the USB thing. It's battery powered. It gets about four or five hours uh, to a charge. And it has, this is kind of weird, a Wi-Fi access spot in it. So I've turned that on. And now what I do is I go on my iPad and I... Get off the Wi-Fi I'm currently on, and I've, now I'm taking a chance doing this live. Let's see if it'll... Yep, satellite of love, that's mine. <laughs> so I've joined this. Now, I don't get internet access. I want to point out, this. you would use this in the car if you had a bunch of kids, or even two kids with iPads. They would log on to the satellite of love and then run the GoFlex application, and it will find movies, music, pictures. It will find media... On this hard drive. Okay. So the idea cool. here... Isn't that cool? I think it's Very. a really neat idea. The idea here is this hard drive... Um, 
Oh, there's a new uh, available. I'm not going to get this software right now, but I can look at my satellite, see what's on there. This is this is stuff that's on here. There's music, there's photos, there's videos. Uh, we didn't put any on here. This is I'm actually borrowed. Uh, we're going to be using this for. Uh, I think there's nothing on here. Shoot, we're going to be using this at uh, NAB show. Um, but you haven't loaded it up yet. But if you had, if if we had loaded up, I have at home. I have a bunch of movies on here, um, and it will play them back. And different iPads can play different movies. So in effect, this is a portable wireless media hub. Cool. For taking on a car, a vacation, a cabin, a trip. So you and I are in the back seat of the we Escalade, watch, and we can watch the movies right, that we want to watch, and we iPad. don't have to watch it together. Exactly. Or the same movie. So, of course, you could sync the movies to your iPad, although you may have limited storage in your iPad. This is 500 gigabytes or a terabyte. These get very, very big. You put a lot of stuff on here. And you don't have to sync it here. You just put the USB connector on here, copy it over, and uh, go. I think this is a very cool idea. This that is, is awesome. From Seagate. It's called the GoFlex Satellite. You can format it for Windows or Mac. Um, and uh, if you use the Mac uh, with it uh, and you don't want to format it for Macintosh, uh, they actually c- it comes with MacFuse software on the hard drive that you can install that makes it possible for the Mac to see the NTFS file system on here. Um, I, th- I really like this idea. It's a little weird and a little limited. Don't think that this is a Wi-Fi access spot. It doesn't give you internet access. When you are signed on to this, you lose your internet access. So it's really for a place where, like the car, you're not online. Mm-hmm. You want to watch a movie on the hard drive. Yeah. It plays back very well. In fact, I apologize because I had planned to have some uh, movies on here that I could show you. It works very well. It's, it streams it. It does a very nice job. By the way, Jack's saying that there is airplay. Uh, on your on oh, your good. app. good, Jack. I'm just a big dummy, and I can't. I it's haven't somewhere figured in there, it out but yet. Jack's figured it out. Well, you know, I, I actually, sp- I kind of sprung it on you. Yeah. Well, no, it's okay. It's like I actually, when I played around with the app, I was like so engrossed, I didn't even think to use it on my TV because I wasn't sitting at my couch. You but know, I do that. Airplay is essential. I do because I do it a lot. It's yeah. just one of those things I do yeah. a lot. When you're on the, uh, this is one other thing that's kind of weird. When you go online uh, and you're on this Wi-Fi access spot. All web pages are GoFlex, the GoFlex Media. It actually gives you me- a web page access to your contents on your drive as well. That's cool. So presumably, I mean, it says documents. Presumably, you could store documents on here and do other things, which is which is kind of cool, right? Absolutely. Uh, all controllable from uh, from the web or the dedicated GoFlex app, which uh, is free from uh, Seagate. There's also they recommend. If you put DivX and other uh, kind of oddly uh, encoded files on here, there are some third-party apps. This is called Oplayer that will let you play MKV files and stuff like that and will work with this file server. So if you have a library from all sorts of different places, right. uh, that's another app. Prices vary. Need. 100 bucks, 150 bucks, not expensive. Not at all. That's my, uh, my app cap. I really like this. I love it. It's yeah. a hard drive cap. The very first one ever on yeah, we, in 93 episodes we, of the show. We usually do apps. That's true. Because... The app cap, but every so often it could be a hard some cap. sort of accessory yeah. or hard drive or stylus yeah. or all sorts of stuff yep. is going to make it into the show. What isn't going to make it into this particular show is anything else because we're done. <laughs> it is five minutes till three. That's right. And I think you have a show to go do. I uh, do something called uh, dy- T- dynamite, dynamite, TNT, TNT. That's it. For all you live viewers, you know what's next. But anybody who is watching us on demand. And thank you very much for subscribing to the show and downloading it and watching it at your leisure. Uh, You should also check out TNT five days a week. We're the best damn news show this side of the Mississippi and that side too. But enough about that show. Uh, For us, for all of us at iPad Today, just us and Chad, uh, thank you for watching. We will see you on the next episode of iPad Today. Today. Oh!